Hey, fatty! This is episode 14 of Snake Diet TV. I'm going to start off with telling everybody how that fucking doctor segment went. It was a fucking sideshow. That's how it fucking went. I'm actually kicking myself in the nuts that I wasn't a complete fucking asshole of those idiots. First thing, I get on this show, and they make me wait for like half an hour, and I'm on Skype. And then you, you can actually see the crowd, and they're all clapping for all these fucking idiot doctors to come on stage. And then they come on stage, and they open me up right off the bat. So, fuck, basically, the whole thing was me arguing with these idiots that have no fucking fasting experience whatso fucking ever. All they can do is throw their stupid fucking credentials at me. It's like, where's your peer-reviewed studies? Where's your peer-reviewed fucking studies? Shut up, you stupid fucking cunts. My fucking results are light years ahead of your fucking science. Fuck. It's like, these fucking people are so fucking dogmatic and fucking stupid. It's like, if you got a million people doing the same thing, Losing a crazy amount of fucking body fat and getting healthy from fasting. Fuck your fucking nincompoop for asking me for a peer-reviewed study, you stupid bitch. Fuck. And I just kept going on and on and on. Fucking they're arguing with me. I couldn't even fucking talk over the idiots. Okay, they just fucking, they're just pompous fucking arrogant assholes. They're like, oh my credentials, that fucking blonde bitch. She's like, my credentials, I have this and this, I'm a fucking expert, fucking scholar in fucking nutrition, yep, yet I don't get any fucking results. Okay, in the end, you don't get any fucking results, you fucking cunts. Okay, and then the fucking guy, the fucking pretty boy guy, he's like trying to challenge me and, oh, I think I have more ripped abs than you do, he says. Like, fuck, they're not even professional for fuck's sakes. I didn't even swear. Fuck, I wish I would have called them a bunch of fucking dumb cunts right to their face in front of a live studio audience. Fucking idiots. Fuck. I can't believe people buy into these morons. They don't get any results. Okay? Fuck, I get fucking results. Crazy fucking results. And they're like, fuck, then they're trying to hit the fucking, the safety fucking idea. Oh, that can't be safe. That can't be fucking safe. Fucking not eating for days on end? Well, I'll tell you this, you fucking stupid bitch. You're fucking fuck people like them. People like you with all your credentials kill fucking more people in a day than I've killed yet. I haven't killed anybody yet and there's a fucking bazillion people following this shit. And then they even fucking went on my Facebook and they actually brought up a post that I actually made about this girl that fucking was a troll, I'm sure, that said, oh... Fucking, I ended up in the hospital from the snake diet and I wasn't even coaching this fucking idiot if, if it was even real, which I'm sure it was fake because the face wasn't even in the picture. They actually brought this up on TV. They showed it. Fuck. And I posted it like, like I was hiding it. I fucking called this bitch out for being a fucking troll. Trying to scare people fucking from fasting. Fuck. Like these people are idiots, man. Anybody that watches the doctors, you're, you're fucking, you might as well fucking just put a gun to your head because it's a waste of your fucking life. Fuck, these people are morons. Fuck, they don't know anything. Fuck. It's fucking upsetting to me, actually. Because those are the people that are fucking creating the most influence right now in the United States, North America, the whole world. These morons. They kill all sorts of people with their stupid crap. You know what? They're like... And then the old guy on the doctors, he's like, well, we're in the same game as you. We're trying to just, we're trying to help people fucking lose weight, but we're doing it in a safe manner. Yeah, you know what? Your fucking safe manner, fuck, you don't get any results. People don't fucking get any results. Of course, when you're not doing anything, it's going to be safe. But really, is it? When you're still a fat fuck? You're fucking not in a safe state of health. Okay, when you don't get results with somebody that's 500 pounds... Obviously, your way isn't very safe because there's still 500 fucking pounds, you fucking old cunt. Fuck. And then I brought up extreme examples. I'm like, what would you guys do with a thousand pound man? You know what they And then they just started running their mouths, arguing fucking. They couldn't even fucking come up with anything. Just a bunch of bullshit. And I'm like, a thousand pound man. Okay, the guy can't even get out of bed. What's your fucking mainstream bullshit going to do with him? He can't exercise because he can't walk. You know what you do? And then I brought up bariatric surgery. One, 
You could either fucking get bariatric surgery, which he couldn't even get at a thousand pounds. And if he did, he just, that doesn't solve anything. We know that. People lose a bunch. I've coached people. There's a guy I'm coaching right now that was 900 fucking, or 800 pounds. And he's down to 500. The only reason he lost 300 pounds is because the bariatric surgery fucked up his gut so bad that he just couldn't eat. He didn't beat the addiction. And then as soon as he got healed up, he's eating again. Fuck. The only way you can fucking help the extremes is by slapping the fucking food out of their fucking mouth. Fuck. Fuck, man. I wish I could have redid it. Because you know what? I would have came on there and I wouldn't even had a care in the world if they would have just shut me down. Just so I could have fucking tell them to shut their fucking traps. Fucking idiots. They're just pompous fucking cunts. Fucking cunts. Fuck. They get no results and just... Fucking use all their bullshit to make nothing but money, the greedy fuckers. They don't know anything about fasting. It's like, what I, fuck, I wish I would have went on there right at the start and been like, first off, does any of you fucking doctors with all your fucking credentials have any experience with prolonged fucking fasting on salt water or dry? You know what they would have been? They would have fucking been their egos. They couldn't have fucking denied it. They'd have been like, no. They would have been like, no, and I'd have been like, then shut the fuck up and let me do the talking, you stupid fucking fuckheads. Fuck, I'm still fucking mad about that. I got my roommate listening the whole time. I'm on the headphones. Fuck, these people are brainwashed. All the fat fucking pigs in the audience. Yay, the doctors. They get no results. Yay, yay. Hopefully my fucking segment ends up on TV, but I don't even know if it will. The girl said it's supposed to. But I know they're just going to make me look like a fucking idiot, which is fine. It's free publicity, which I don't even give a fuck. But fuck, man. These people are morons. Fuck, I can't believe these shows even get... My show, I'm going to bury the fucking doctors. Bury them. You wait. One year, I'll have my own fucking show. It's not even going to be on TV. i will run it over that snake diet app, and that snake diet app's all fucking, fucking balls to the walls, top level. We'll have our own fucking show where I'm actually cutting fat off motherfuckers for free and fucking getting such crazy results that I'm going to make these doctors look like a bunch of fucking idiots and no one's going to watch their fucking bullshit ever again. Fucking morons. Okay, now let's start answering some questions. Uh, let's see here. Basically, I bit my lip the whole time just so it might get on TV. Because as long as it gets on TV, it doesn't matter if they make me look like a complete nut. People will look me up and they'll see my results and then people are going to fucking try it. Just like all the other fucking people that hated on me. Then they're like, oh, then they're asking me for help. I've had people hate on me so bad then they're getting a hold of me for fuck's sakes for help fucking two months later. Fuck, that's the only reason I bit my lip with those fucking morons. I knew that's how it'd go at the start, but fuck, seriously, when I went on there, I didn't, even, I didn't think they'd be that juvenile. Fuck, these people are idiots. Completely fucking juvenile. That one guy's like, oh, I got a tighter six back than you. Like, they didn't even have a picture of me for fuck's sakes, this idiot. Fuck, they didn't even know what fasting was. They're fucking morons. He, like, fuck, the way he's talking, it's like, we might as well have a dick measuring contest, right? Like, fuck, what a fucking unprofessional fucking cunt that one guy was. They're all idiots, fuck. The only one that was okay, because she asked questions in kind of a decent manner, was the darker girl. Fuck, I don't know which one that is, but she was not just running her fucking mouth like the other idiots. Fuck, that blonde bitch was a fucking idiot. Fuck, she's a fucking big eagle. But I shut her the fuck up when I'm like, guess what? The fucking goddamn steak juice is the exact same shit that's in an IV, you stupid bitch. And then she's like, oh, I'm not fucking saying that everything you're doing's wrong. Fuck, after she's just running her mouth, fucking idiot. Fuck. Okay, let's see here. Jordan Michael asks, hey Cole, I was about to upload a link to the group for a t-shirt. I just inverted the colors, but they're coming directly from a printing company. Is it all right to post? They're actually quite cheap. I don't give a shit. Put it in the threads. You're not putting it on uh, up as a post. Only fucking things that go in that group are fucking butt-ass fat people damn near naked. That's what goes up in that fucking group. Okay? No fucking questions or anything go up in that group as main post. It's a fucking complete waste of space. Marty Ben asks, Cole, how do you feel about water fasting? 
Plain water fasting is fucking stupid. Okay? It fucking completely, it gives you refeeding syndrome like a motherfucker if you do it for any prolonged length of time. It's crap. Why do you think I promote the fucking salts? Fuck, because I've tried it all. Okay, that's why. Because I fucking have the experience. Okay, not like the fucking doctors. Fuck. <laughs> Ashley Taylor loves you, says. Uh, hey, Brie K, this, you, did you drink all the salt and no salt in one sitting or throughout the day? If you do it in one sitting, you're going to give you the major shits. Try adding it to two liters of water. Yeah. Don't drink the fucking salts in one sitting. Fuck. I tell people this all the time. Okay, the easiest way to mix up snake juice. Fuck, listen to this. Fucking grab two liters of fucking water. Put in one and a half teaspoons of each of the salts. That's a good starting point. Fucking drink it. If you fucking run out before the end of the day, you can either see how you feel. Maybe you can drink a little extra fresh water or just mix up another batch of that two liter solution. Done. Fuck. It's fucking, you're not eating. That's the main point of this whole goddamn lifestyle. You don't fucking eat till you're ripped. Once you're ripped, you fucking can start eating again, still following a fasting focused routine, but getting in the food. <laughs> Douglas Banner asks, how many miles should I jog when fasted to lose one pound? I don't know. Weigh yourself and go run till you fucking lost a pound. That's how many miles. Okay. Sika Duna 25 donated me five bucks. Thanks. Cynthia Alvarado says, Eric Berg is in it for the money. Yeah, he is. Fuck, I used to watch him all the time. Now he's a fucking sellout. He was smart in some aspects, but as soon as he started talking about muscle mass when he's a fucking string bean, he can shut the fuck up. He still fucking got some good points, but he's a sellout. Fuck, trying to make money now. Fucking pisses me off, actually. I used to follow him quite a bit. Body Heel says, Hey, Snake, send in a dollar per pound lost. Fuck, if everybody sent me a dollar for one every pound they fucking lost in the snake diet, I'd be fucking probably fucking out of debt tomorrow, and I'd be paying fat motherfuckers to lose weight, which is my end goal here. And by the way, if you want to fucking donate to me, people keep asking me, can I donate, can I donate, can I donate? If you want to donate to me, donate to me through fucking PayPal. It's pumpkincontrols at hotmail.com. P-U-M-P K-I-N C-O-N-T-R-O-L-S at hotmail.com. Okay? But don't fucking donate, donate a dime to me unless you've gotten fucking results. And that doesn't mean I'm going to coach you when you donate to me either. If you want coaching, you're still going to put up your fucking accountability pictures and add friends to my Snake Diet Motivation group on Facebook. The Chris Holt asks, if fasting prolongs, fasting prolongs, how long... Okay, this is a good question. If fasting prolongs how long a person lives, does it also allow us to age slower and maintain youth longer in your opinion? Fuck yes. I fucking just had an argument with a guy again the other day about this. All these people are always telling me, it's like, wait till you're my age and see how fucking tough you are. See how fucking fit you are. You know what? I'm not young anymore. Fuck, I'm 36, but I am young. Because you know why? 36 is fuck all. We're supposed to live to like 120. 120, 100 should be the average age with no meds, ever. I'll never be on meds, okay? So these crybabies that are like 60 fucking years old, or even 70, that are bitching about, oh, I'm all fucking old and fucked up, it's because they fucked up their bodies and they weren't fasting. You're not even old at 60, fuck. When I'm 60, that's like 24 years from now, I'm going to be the same as I am now for fuck's sakes, okay? I'm going to be the same as I am now. Like, yeah, I'll be a bit older, Fuck, man, I'll have a little less hair. I'm gonna, like, I'm like, the, my health right now, literally, is as good as when I was fucking 16 years old. And I say 16 because I know I'm healthier now than when I was 20 because I was drinking booze and shit. Okay, I'm healthier fucking now than I was then. So obviously, man, it's fucking amazing how long you can live when you fucking fast. Fuck people that are crybabies. Fucking start fucking fasting for fuck's sakes. Scott Pierce donated me five bucks. He said, we love you in Australia. Yeah, make sure you guys in Australia are getting fucking some sort of potassium chloride source because I hear it's hard to get there. Jennifer Lanning donated me a hundred bucks. Thank you. And she didn't even ask a question. If you have a question, ask, okay? Uh, let's see here.
Um, there's one. Awakening Rage asks, Cole, what are your thoughts on food combinations? Some people say you shouldn't mix fruits with anything, shouldn't mix meats with starches, blah, blah, blah. Fuck. Okay, here's the thing. There's some truth to that when it comes to fucking carbs and fucking anything else. Because say if you eat a bunch of fucking sugar and fat, your body's going to stash fat like a motherfucker. But your body's still going to stash fat if you spike your insulin with a bunch of protein. Okay, end of the day, watch the fucking scale and you're fasting. You're not eating anyway. You're fucking fat. So don't worry about food. Okay, once you're lean, then you can experiment with that shit. Once you're ripped, you can figure it out. Okay, like... When you're really ripped, you can do all sorts of shit. Fuck, try all sorts of things. If your weight goes up a couple pounds, you know that it didn't work. Okay, don't eat. That's, there's two things here. You're either ripped and fasting and eating, or you're fucking a fat fuck and you're not eating at all. How fucking goddamn hard is that for people to understand? Somebody just posted cream of tartars. Fucking junk. Fuck. If I fucking said, did I say cream of tartars any good? No. Fuck, potassium fucking chloride powder. Qu quit fucking trying to fucking make up your own potions. Just listen to me. I've tried all this shit. I know it fucking works. Don't fucking steer away from the protocol. Uh, let's see. Willie T says, I'm 175 pounds and trying to get to 165 pounds and prolonged fasting is becoming painful. What do I do? So I'm assuming, like, painful in what way? Okay, so obviously you can fucking go. You got the three fucking aspects of fat loss still, okay? You got eating frequency, macros, calories. So if the eating frequency is fucking, obviously our eating frequency is never going to be fucking more than a meal a day if you're fucking ripped. Or maybe you're doing alternating days or eating more than once in one day and then the next day you don't eat at all. Okay, you're never fucking eating back-to-back -back fucking meals unless you're ripped and fucking skipping the next day. And so if it's a sleep issue, then start going a meal a day at night. But watch the fucking calories and the macros. Okay, if you're trying to lose weight, you want to keep the carbs fucking low. Meat and vegetables. Okay, and the calories low. Like fucking low. Watch the fucking scale. Simple as that. That's it. And then watch the fucking scale, okay? Panu22 says, Cole, how many times a week should I train each body part heavy lifting while cutting? Every day. If you're fucking really good at this shit, you can cut and lift heavy every fucking day if you don't tax yourself. Example, today. This is what my workout looked like today. This is really, really radical. Today... I was at the gym for literally like four hours. My first exercise was bench press. I did 30 reps and it took me one hour to do 30 reps with 315 pounds and I was doing singles every two minutes. And I fucking did it with a slingshot on so it was probably like 295. That was my first exercise. But that's a lot of volume. 30 reps with 300 pounds, that's 9,000 pounds of volume. But I still wasn't taxed at the end. I was okay. Okay, I could go back tonight and hit that shit again. Next exercise, I fucking squatted. I squatted 275 pounds for an hour straight. Two reps every two minutes. That's 60 fucking reps with 275. Ass to the grass. I could have did more. You see, because I stretched out. I squatted for a whole fucking hour. Okay, if you're willing to put in the time in the gym and keep the weight high, low rep sets, lots of sets, that's a perfect way to cut. Do not tax your fucking nervous system. Training till failure is fucking garbage for a fucking natural. Garbage. Excellent example. Let's just dumb it down to pull-ups even. If you fucking did pull-ups till failure, you did your max one set every day of the week, let's say. So you did like, let's say you can do 10 good ones and you fail. You're like grinding on the 10th one. You'll get 20 million times. So that equals what? 10 pull-ups, 7 days, 70 pull-ups in a week, right? Let's say instead of doing 10 in a row and fucking being taxed because you trained a fucking failure, which doesn't work. Let's say you did fives. Let's say you did five sets of five on like 
three minutes rest. So that would take 15 minutes to do 25 quality pull-ups. And then 25 times seven is 175 fucking quality pull-ups versus your 70 till failure. I guarantee you, you'll put on 20 times more muscle hitting the fucking 175 fucking pull-ups in the week with perfect form than training to fucking failure. Fuck, people keep fucking arguing me with about that. Fuck. Training to failure is fucking shit. It doesn't fucking work. With the natural, it doesn't work. You want to train heavy, low reps, and then just more and more sets if you feel good. Okay, no grinders. Fuck. Let's see here. Richard Preston. He donated me, donated me 50 bucks. Keep up the amazing work. Thanks for all the help. You're welcome. Oh, let's see. So like I said, even when you're cutting, the perfect routine is going to be full body every day. Just fucking tone down the fucking volume. Okay? Like literally, you could go in there and do fucking 20 working squats every day. But make sure the weight is low enough that it doesn't tax you. And take your time. Take 20 minutes to do 20 squats. One squat per minute. Okay, do that for every day in a fucking week. You'll log some crazy volume, not just volume. All your volume is going to be high quality because all the weight's going to be within like 60 to 70% of your max. It's not going to be like a bunch of lightweight squats. Full fucking body. As soon as I find the fucking cameraman, I'm going to get into this more and have people take, taping my whole workouts. The sweet alchemist asks, Cool, can I just do negatives with only snake juice? Concentric grips gives me migraines. No, fuck. Just fucking don't fuck. There's no fucking way you're going to get a migraine from fucking doing a concentric rep unless the weight's too fucking heavy. Do something that has good speed. And you're not going to do fuck negatives. That's going to, that's like failing. That's, that's the most taxing you can do anything on your muscles doing a fucking, well, if it's a controlled negative, but if you're fucking like, I have a weight there that can barely even hold, like say on a curl or something, that's just taxing the muscle. If you're on a cut, you do not want to tax the fucking muscle. You want to be able to go in the gym every day and feel fresh. If you don't feel fresh, you fucked up. Another example is I started punching the bag again recently, okay? What do you think I fucking did the first like week on the bag? Do you think I was trying to throw bombs? No, I was trying to just snap the punches. Snap, snap, snap. Okay, get that fucking nervous system work. Then now I'm getting a little heavier in the punches. Okay, same with the golf swing. Do you think they're trying to kill it every fucking time? No, it's that tempo and nervous system, 70%. Then when they go to kill it, they actually can kill it and the ball goes straight down the pipe. Okay, let's see here. Jordan Michael, what's somebody? Somebody said something about a missing gallbladder. You can still fast if you got a fucking no gallbladder. You can still fast the same as everybody else. Okay, just fucking fast. Risa Wagner donated me twenty bucks. Thanks. If I miss any of those super chats, thanks for the do donations. Okay, here we go. The Vita Shill asks, repeat one day every two weeks how to avoid bad constipation. You'll never get plugged up on your fucking repeats if you're eating fucking lots of vegetables, okay? You're never going to get plugged up. The only way you'll get plugged up because you're a fucking dumbass and eating a bunch of fucking meat and peanut butter, okay? Everyone wolfing down peanut butter all the time. That's, there's so many better fucking things you can eat than fucking peanut butter. Fuck peanut butter. Let's see here. Yeah, because everyone always is like, oh, I, I, I was eating. People think that fucking just because they're fucking eating fucking low carb keto meals that they can just eat as much food as they fucking want. No, man. Fuck. What do you think? Fucking protein doesn't spike your insulin? Of course it does. You, you fast. You fucking fast. Okay? Even the ketogenic diet. That's why I bust this fucking shit's balls every fucking Sunday night. 
Why do you think most people are doing a keto diet? This isn't fucking keto. I fast. I eat now that I'm fucking ripped. I eat carbs like out the ass. Okay? Now fuck either you're ripped and eating or you're fat and fasting. That's how this works. You're ripped and eating or fat and fasting. Don't fucking worry about fucking eating. Okay? Most people that do do a keto routine, like keto diet, like eating normally like normal people every day with no fasting, they're fucking, they're doing it for weight loss. Okay? So if they're trying to lose weight, why the fuck are these fuckers eating in the first place? They should be fucking fasting. That's where that came from. Fuck. Okay? Fast. Fast. Don't fucking eat. Joanne Lego donated me 20 bucks. She said, thanks for not giving up or changing. Yeah, I won't fucking change. Fuck, I'll never be a fucking sellout. Sellout, people that sell out are a bunch of fucking cowardly little bitch pussies. Okay, Zavaro Michael asks, I have a friend, he's got bad type 2 diabetes and neuropathy. I want to suggest fasting, but it's, is it risky? I know fasting cures type 2 diabetes. No, fucking fast. He's fucking fine. Okay, fast. There is no bad type 2. Fuck, if it's a type 1, it's fucking more critical. Okay, type 2 is a fucking joke. Just fucking start fasting. Douglas Banner says, I like peanut butter. I guess that's why I'm a fatty. Yeah. Foods that people are always eating all the time, like the main, you know that same old rule? If the fucking masses are doing it, it's probably shit. Okay? Everybody's chowing down peanut butter. Fuck. Fuck, man. Gabriel Simon donating me a hundred bucks. Thank you. Uh... By the way, make sure you download the Snake Diet app, okay? We got it out for the Android. He's actually finally got that fucking uh, Snake Diet Buddy Finders working. And there's, you can also go on the internet and get the link for the app if you don't have, because he's going to have it for the iPhone, but you can actually get this. He made it so you can use the link off the internet and you can have it on your iPhone without having the app right now. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. Lisa Kenner asks, what do I think of Dr. Fung? Fuck, he's smart. Problem is he's soft. Okay? There's fucking, he needs to fucking be like me. He needs to fucking push what I push with his knowledge. Okay? He doesn't push it hard enough. He needs to fucking push this fucking shit. He needs to do, we need to do more research on fucking, like, we already got the results. Like, I keep talking about this, but we need... Fucking people need to seem to fucking need research to not be fearful. Okay, so we need fucking like more actual awesome studies that have been done where you got like a thousand people that didn't eat for two weeks and see what happens. Okay, we need that study to be done. Okay? Uh, let's see here. Fuck. These ones. Okay, if you're fasting, don't fucking put anything in your body when you're fasting like fucking needles or tattoos or fucking don't get teeth pulled at the dentist where they gotta give you a bunch of freeze you get all fucked up okay so here's a question james hearse asks what do you think of taking a blood thinner due to a heart stint while fasting i tell my doctor but he just says it's not healthy though my meds cause gout which i have to okay so first off as soon as you fucking get into this, your blood's not going to be fucking thick as fuck anymore. And a lot of that cholesterol and plaque, or not cholesterol, I shouldn't even fucking said that. That plaque buildup from the arterial inflammation because of all the fucking high blood sugars and shit. Basically, it's a buildup. The cholesterol and the calcium comes and tries to heal the injured artery. That's going to start to break away and clean itself out. Okay? So you got to make sure if you got crazy high blood pressure, stay on the blood pressure med until it drops, then cut it. If you got confidence that you can just cut the med, it'll be slightly high, just cut the fucking med. Also, while I'm on this and I don't forget, dry fasting means fucking dry fasting. It doesn't mean fucking ingest dry salt, okay? It doesn't mean fucking drink one glass of water to take your fucking painkillers. Fuck. 
You can't cure cancer with dry fasting if you're taking fucking painkillers. That's a toxin. You're just completely depleting or fucking basically negating the autophagy effect of it. Fuck, man. See, these people don't get it. Dry. Staple your fucking mouth shut. That's fucking what dry fasting means. Coletta Washington, she says, cardio with question marks. You're pushing strength training. What's the balance? Well, go do fucking cardio too. Just people always ask me about building muscle. You're not going to build any muscle doing cardio unless you're fucking pumping iron on the same time. Okay? I'm trying to tell people how to lift weights to actually build fucking muscle, not fatigue their nervous system. I do cardio too. Here's what I've been doing lately. I fucking train for like fucking three hours or four hours every day at like noon till three. Then I come home, I have a fucking nap. Then I go back to the gym that night. I walk backwards on the treadmill for an hour. And then I hit the punching bag for 15 minutes fucking like fast, heart rate racing fast. So I guess I'm doing fucking cardio, aren't I? Just fucking go, cardio, just go do it. Go do shit. Another thing that I want to bring up. Me and my little buddy, Maz, who's now a fucking snake diet fat fitness trainer. The reason we call ourselves fat fitness trainers is because we're fucking ripped. And I thought it was funny because I fucking can't stand fat fitness trainers because they're a fucking rip off. So I figured we'd call him plus because it means that we're helping fat people and shit. But we're at the gym and there's this young guy at the gym and he's fucking ripped. Like I knew he was natural. Okay, he wasn't on drugs. He's not big. So we went up and I was talking, I told my buddy Maz, I'm like, you know why that kid's so fucking ripped? Like his veins are popping out and everything and he's got some muscle on him. And he's probably about 100 and he was actually ended up being 155 pounds. It's, and then we went up and guess what? I told Maz, I bet you he has an active job, like construction or something. We go up to him and guess what? He fucking does landscaping. That's why he's ripped, because he fucking does shit. Okay? You all, more fucking activity is going to make you burn more fucking calories. That's what I'm trying to emulate with this long fucking strength training routines. Train like a rig pig. Train like a fucking rig hand. I had buddies when I was growing up. One of my buddies was fucking shredded. And he's a fucking pothead. And ate garbage every night. And he was fucking ripped. You know why? Because he worked 12 hours a day on a fucking rig fucking moving pipe. Okay? When you fucking put in the time, and that's what I'm trying to emulate with my training routine, but I'm trying to do it with weights that won't tax my nervous system, that I can hit lots of volume. So my goal is on the week, I want to hit as much fucking volume as I can with as heavy as, of weights as I can use, and that will build crazy amounts of fucking muscle for a fucking natural. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay? Let's see here. Back her up a hair here. Kitty M donating me 10 bucks. Thank you. Um, <laughs> HP asks, Cole, how would you break a 10-day snake juice fast? I'm on day three of a snake juice fast. I'm going 10 days before I break it and do another and do another seven days. Fuck, if you're already drinking the snake juice, fucking just fucking if you're gonna break the fast, like with food we're talking. Break it with fucking some watermelon, cucumbers, fucking oranges. Okay? If you want, also, when you're doing a long, long fast like that, make sure you're getting in some baking soda. Okay? By the way, I made a video called Snake Diet Dry Fasting. Snake Juice Dry Fasting, sorry. People are getting confused about this. There's people that have been alternating dry fasting and snake juice. Okay? No food! Okay, people are like, how do I refeed off the dry fast? You don't. You fucking go back onto the snake juice. The fast ends, the whole fucking thing ends after you went snake juice, dry fast. Snake juice, dry fast. As long as you can go, then the fast ends and you fucking refeed. Okay? On those ones, you want to at least have a bit of bacon soda going into the dry fast and coming out of the dry fast. Okay, that's it. And make fucking sure you're well hydrated on the snake juice before you restart the dry fasting phase. And these will get crazy fucking results. If you can go back and forth like that, 
Because people always ask, what burns more fat, dry fasting or snake juice? Sitting on your ass, dry fasting does. But you can only dry fast so long, so that's why I tell most people just drink snake juice as long as they can because they can go days and days and days and days on snake juice. But if you can flip-flop them, then you don't have to eat and you can stretch and still get dry fasting time in. See that? Okay, that's more advanced. You might kick kidney stones. So fuck, if you got kidney pain, make sure you're getting in the baking soda. Red Mill baking soda. Ah, uh, fuck, let's see here. Just got to back her up again. Okay, let's see. Essentially, when you come off a long snake juice fast, don't fucking repeat like an idiot. Just eat some fucking watermelon or some cucumbers and shit like that. Knock back some fucking coconut water. That's food. Coconut water is food, not fasting food. Okay, that's food. You're refeeding once you're drinking coconut water. There's calories there. Blaine Garbrandt says, why aren't you using baking soda to brush your teeth instead of toothpaste? Baking soda is good. You can use it to brush your fucking teeth. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Cole, he says, uh, Dillcat68 says he does 25,000 steps a day in deep, fast, good, or too much exercise trying to lose 15 pounds. If you feel good and your hip flexors and joints are feeling good, it's fine. That's the whole reason I decided to do backwards walking because it's, it, it's very low impact, lower than forwards walking. Forwards walking can still beat you up. Especially forwards walking on a flat surface doesn't burn fuck all for calories compared to it on an incline. And as soon as you get it on an incline, then it'll start beating up your fucking hip flexors. And a stair climber is way too intense, okay? And a bike is fucking too slow because you're going to amp that up too and it hurts your fucking crotch. Okay, that's why I came up with this idea to walk backwards and it's really good for my feet. It's good for my knees. It gives me good quad. It gets rid of quad imbalances. And it keeps my posture straight up and down. So I don't get a sore back like climbing up a treadmill, walking forward. I got to make a video on this walking backwards. So all I do now for steady state is walk backwards. Andrew Beninen says, I'm a serious dart player and my accuracy increases during fasting is seriously insane. His accuracy increases during a fast. All scenes become much cleaner and you get crazy performance. You guys need to try and you won't regret it. That's true. That's a part of being in ketosis during that fast. Uh, Marty Ben says, I'm starting the snake diet tomorrow, Cole. I'm really excited. Any help with willpower? Make a fucking accountability post on the snake diet motivation group. Use that post as your own little journal. Update that post in the threads. Strip the fuck down. Take proper pictures, front, side, and back with your hands out in front of you on the side shot. Okay, strip down. Okay, that fucking fear of judgment gives you crazy willpower because you don't want to be that fat ass you just posted out for everybody to see publicly, publicly ever again. Rob K says, my blood pressure has dropped like a rock since I've started fasting. I was on blood pressure meds. Now my blood pressure is better than it was over 20 years ago. See how that fucking works? Uh, Compton... Gangbang asks, should I quit T4 with water fast? It's a thyroid drug. Yeah, you can quit it. If you got your thyroid, quit it. If you don't have a thyroid because you let the fucking idiots on the doctor's television show tear it out, then fucking you got to take that fucking one med for the rest of your life. Yeah, they don't hurt anybody, these doctors. Yeah, they, they don't hurt anybody. They're fucking protocols, fucking idiots. Um, Tony Racine asks, workout suggestion if we don't have seven day, four hours per workout, three times. Fuck, just train as much as you can in the week, okay? Still the same idea. Full body all the time, okay? Compound movements, squats, pull-ups, dips, bench press, rows, lunges, okay? Not till failure, perfect form. Short, low rep sets, but lots of sets, Okay? That's how you get fucking results. Uh, 
Let's see here. See, here's another interesting thing. So let's say, you know, most people, like when we're talking cardio, okay, real cardio is like when your heart's fucking racing, you're going to puke. That's fucking cardio. The steady state stuff that everybody does, they're in there trying to lose weight. Okay, steady state cardio, I did a video on it. It's basically a waste of your fucking time unless you want to take advantage of it. If you're going to do it, you want to be fasting and doing it. You want to be fasting to lose the fucking weight. But here's the thing. You could actually burn more calories if you fucking stri- if you instead of doing like an hour on the bike, go squat for an hour. Just do a light enough weight that you won't beat yourself up to squat the next day. Example for me would be like doing 135 pounds maybe for sets of 5 on 2 minutes for an hour. So that ends up being like 30 sets of five. So that's 150 fucking reps with 135 pounds. That's a lot of fucking calories I roasted. And that won't tax me for the next day. I can still squat the next day heavy like fuck all doing that. Okay? You see that? You can actually make weight training almost like fat loss work rather than just to build muscle. As long as the intensity is not so high that you tax yourself and your nervous system. Okay, that's the trick. And then you're, it's way better than your fucking goddamn stupid, any of the fucking steady state shit. Like the other day, I did 180 pull-ups in an hour. I did three pull-ups every minute. And even at the very end of that, I still felt good to do pull-ups again the next day. Because I took a whole fucking hour to do them. 180 fucking pull-ups. You think that didn't burn some crazy calories? Even though I hardly felt it because I was only doing three on the minute. And three pull-ups for me is a fucking joke. Now, for a lot of you, I made my buddy do one pull-up every minute. One pull-up. And he ended up doing 60. Normally, he does like five by four or something. So he does 20 and he's beat up. That day, he did 60. Yeah, it took him an hour, but he got in way more volume. Burned way more calories. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, okay, fuck. Here's a question. 2012 Zazen. Is fucking weed oil okay to take while on a snake juice fast? Don't fucking take the weed oil. You don't fucking need it. Unless you're literally on your deathbed in fucking chronic pain because you fucking let your cancer go so long that it can't be fucking remedied anymore. You don't need fucking weed oil. <clears throat> Kitty M asks, she donated me 20 bucks. <clears throat> hey Cole, I'm a fat pig. 33 years old. 287 pounds. 5 foot 6. I'm on my 37th hour of dry fasting. My plan is 48 hour dry fast every weekend. Then refeed three times per week with green juice and eggs plus veggies. 2,400 calories per week. Is that good? Fuck. If you're that fat, you don't even need 2,400. Fuck. And cut it back. Why do you need 2,400 calories? Because that ends up being 800 calories three times a week. Yeah, you're going to get results from that. But fuck, if you can go longer, fast longer. Okay, fast as long as you can. That food's fine. Okay, that food's fine. Fast as long as you fucking can. Okay, let's see here. David asks, what do I think of Alpha Destiny's naturally enhanced two days a week training routine? No fucking world class power lifter ever won fucking any sort of fucking world records with a two day a week training routine. For your average Joe that's fucking got... Crazy newbie gains to make. Pretty much anything will work, okay? But trust me, if you want to be top fucking level in some sort of a movement, let's just say it's a pull-up, okay? You need to train that fucking pull-up every fucking day, okay? If you want to be a top level gymnast, you need to do the motions every fucking day or like five, six times a week. And that's exactly how they train. If you want to be a world-class Olympic weightlifter, you see what I'm saying? If you want to be top level, you need the frequency to be sky fucking high. Simple as that. Top level, super high frequency training. Just like the rig pig idea. Train like a rig pig. 
Do you think a fucking rake pig that works seven days a week is not going to be in 20 times better shape than one that works twice a week doing the same exact job? Of course the guy that works seven times a week is going to be in better fucking shape. He's tra it's way more frequency and he's, he's logging way more volume. Okay? And he's not taxing his nervous system because that work just won't tax the fuck out of you. It's not like fucking hitting 500 pound squats all day. Okay? A general, as a general fucking program, like I say, a mi there's a million things that'll work. It's not what I'd have people doing, no. High fucking frequency on everything. If I'm gonna build a girl's legs and ass, I'm gonna have her fucking doing squats and ass and leg exercises every fucking day. Not twice a week. Gonna, that's how it works. High fucking frequency. This is how we lived as fucking hunter-gatherers. Why do you think we could all do one-arm pull-ups? And now nobody can. Because we're always climbing trees. Okay? You think we fucking could do a one-arm pull-up if we only tried to train it once or twice a week? Fuck no. Okay? We're doing it all the time. That's why everybody can do it. Now nobody can. Plus everyone's fat as fuck so they can't pull themselves up anyway. Okay, let's see here. Uh, yeah, that 3,000 calorie a week routine. I talked about that video. That's an old one. Yeah, th like it's 3,000 calories in a week. You're going to see okay results, but it's not low enough. Like I said before, most fat women, if they were eating, let's say they were eating one meal a day, if they're eating 500 calories in that one meal, they're not going to lose fuck all. Their fucking maintenance is like 500, okay? It's not 1,200 like your stupid fucking my fitness pal that only goes as low as 1,200 unless they've changed it. Fuck, man. Women that fucking don't do anything and they're sitting around watching the doctors all day on TV, they don't burn any fucking energy. Fuck. Fuck, they won't lose anything unless they fast fucking with no food for days on end. Why do you think it's so easy for them to get fat? Because they're not burning any energy. It's fucking simple. Every fucking piece of food they eat goes straight to their gut because they don't burn anything. Oh, let's see. Yeah, if the doctors put my shit on TV, I'm sure you'll fucking see it. <laughs> Hard to say if they will. It was fucking probably the most entertaining fucking skit they had, but I don't know if we'll see what happens. It's probably pretty haywire for their mainstream bullshit. Um, any recommendations for a rotator cuff injury? I don't know what the fuck. Like, you're... I'd have to see what you're capable of doing. Like, if you can do pulling exercises, do pulling exercises. Don't do any pushing. Just pulling, bowling, pulling. Ice. Fucking let it heal. Fast. Lose weight. Dry fast. Mm. Leo says, Cole, can snake juice fasting cure hypothyroidism or Lyme disease? Yeah. Just fucking start. All this shit can be beat. Fuck. Everything. Let's see here. Yeah, James Hurst even says, every doctor recommends my fitness, pal. Fuck, man. The calorie, the way the fucking calories and shit work, and that's a fucking joke. Antonio F. Fender asks, should you train while dry fasting? Depends how deep you are into the dry fast. Depends why you're doing the dry fast. If you're trying to heal something with the dry fast, don't do anything. You're trying to use that energy to kill shit. If you're doing the dry fasting just for a regular routine because you're super lean and you're maybe doing a meal a day at night and you're going dry all day, train every day. Maybe I was, I've even done a routine where I was going two days dry and had like a four-hour eating window every second day. And I trained both those fucking days. Okay? Feel it out. Try shit. Don't be scared. Don't wait for me to give the okay on everything. Go try shit. You know what I've done. I went 10 days on salt water, fucking fasted myself down to the bone, like 160 fucking pounds. I went fucking seven days dry. Okay? I fucking drink fucking Borax. Okay? I fucking done fucking enemas. I fucking done all sorts of shit. So anything that I've done, I'm still here talking and I'm not dead. So fucking amp it up. Amp it the fuck up. Quit being a pussy. 
We just try shit. Fuck, how do you think I learned all this crap? Fuck, what do you think? I had fucking mentors that actually did this shit? Fuck, no, I just did it. Fuck, there's nobody out there that does some of the shit I do. Fuck, it's rare unless they're fucking Russian. Russians are always ahead of everybody. Uh, let's see here. Um. Oh, fuck. Just trying to find some questions. I just went to the bar. It was really a bunch that I missed. If I missed your question, keep asking them. Just I can ask them again so they pop up again and I won't, then I'll see it. Oh, here's one. Don't use acronyms when asking me shit either. I don't know what your fucking acronym means. Say the whole word. Then I can understand what you're talking about. Like this one. Cool. FPR, whatever the fuck that means. Second time since September. Uh, when I started fasting, I've gotten a head virus. Why? Thought this helped my immune system. Never got sick. Well, for starters, if you're a fat ass, you got crazy amounts of to toxins you're kicking, okay? So there's that. Are you lean? If you're not, you're a fat, fucking dirty little pig. If you're not fucking ripped, your fat is dirty, okay? Your fat is dirty and you're a fat, dirty little fucking pig. Get fucking lean and then fucking see what's going on. Anybody that's a fat ass, anything that's happening to you is going to be fucking normal as fuck. You got all sorts of shit in your fat that needs to be cleaned out. Okay, let's see. Amanda Jones asks, how much baking soda and water do I knock back after a dry fast? Take a liter of fucking water, throw a fucking half a teaspoon of baking soda in and even you can even go a whole teaspoon. A whole liter of water and drink it down in like a fucking hour or something, okay? It's not going to kill you. If you get a little bit of the shits, you know to cut it back next time. Hey, Cole, are avocados okay to refeed on after 48 dry? No, why the fuck would you eat avocados after you just fucking did a 48 dry? Like, they're crazy high calorie. Okay, you want light foods. Light. Light. Like even the coconut water right off the bat. Okay, well, the fucking baking soda, then maybe some coconut water, then maybe some fucking, like, cucumbers or watermelon or something like this. Not fucking heavy-ass fats. Why the fuck would you do that? Heather Wheeler asks, My legs look like baggy jeans. What are the best exercises to do? I lost 40 pounds in 12 weeks. Just start exercising for one. Fucking put on some fucking muscle. Worry about strength. Put on some fucking muscle. Okay? Squats. Fucking squat, 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 squat. They burn crazy calories and build your fucking goddamn nervous system. Build bone density. Build your fucking leg muscles up. Build your core up. Everything. Squat, squat, squat. Seriously. I can fucking give a girl the sexiest body in the world with squats and pull-ups. So fucking easy to train people. Squats and fucking pull-ups and the girl would be hot as fuck. Guys care a little more about their aesthetics and shoulders and shit. Okay, squats and fucking pull-ups. Uh, Tattooed vegan asks, Why do my ears hurt so bad when I'm fasting? I'm not fat. Because you're a fucking vegan, that's why. Start eating meat and I bet your ears will feel just fine. Okay, how many fuck? Like, as soon as you're a fucking vegan, I'm going to be like, eat meat. <laughs> fix the fucking bra, fix that first. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, let's see here. Uh, here we go. Dan's Black Flag asks Cole I did a four day dry fast and transitioned back to water I drank a good amount of water you mean salt water right not fucking plain water I hope weight's gone back up which I knew was water but how long till this water comes out well probably because you didn't have any salt so your body stashed more water than it should have for one and remember like fuck 
He fasted for four fucking days dry. I don't know how big you are, but you probably lose like one pound of body fat on a, per day on a four day dry fast. And like probably fuck all on the first day. So that makes it like three day, three fucking pounds of fat. So what I'm saying is fast long as you can. Okay? And the salt water, not fucking plain water. Don't drink plain water. Like, some plain water is okay as long as you're drinking your salt water. Just don't drink only plain water. Uh, Sean Colton asks, How long do you want light food for? I'm guessing he's responding to coming off the fast. Once you feel like you're good and you feel like you got all your... Like, you feel like you're normal and you're urinating normal again, okay? And all that, and like... You don't just go eat a fucking steak dinner coming off a fucking five-day fast. Sunshine, the truth, word, word, ass. Hey, Cole, what about cellulite and V-veins? Well, what about them? Fucking fast. Lose all the weight, get lean, and see where you're at. The cellulite's gonna fucking disappear for sure. The varicose veins fucking disappear on some people that I've helped, helped like lots of times. So there's that too. Just fucking lose the goddamn weight. Anybody that's a fat ass that has questions like that, lose the fucking weight is my answer to you. Fast until you've lost all the fucking weight. And then rebuild yourself. The Chris Holt asks, if we lift three to four times a week with a lean physique, do you recommend OMAD with a 48 or just eating on training days? You can do both. Fuck, if you're, tra if you're training three times a week, depends how your sleep is on those, on those 36 hour fasts. You could do an alternating day fasting routine. I did that for a while. I had to go away from that because I couldn't sleep on the second night when I got too lean. Okay, then I was eating every day, a meal a day, about two hours before my workout. I'd train at night, then go to bed when I got home. That worked pretty good for a while. Then I had to go away from that because I got too fucking lean because I needed something right before bed. Now I'm eating at night again right before bed and I train pretty much right when I wake up and I grind out the fast in the middle part of the day. Uh, let's see here. Sub Rosa 33 is fucking fucked up. Okay, fast weight loss equals can cause baggy skin. Fuck, losing weight fast doesn't cause loose skin any different. Losing weight slow, you idiot. Fuck, man. I've told people this a million times. All a slow weight loss does is demotivates you. Why do you think people can't lose any fucking weight? Okay, fast weight loss is the key. It's motivational. And like, think about it. Fuck, if you got a fucking balloon full of water... And I let the water come out slowly versus just let it come out fast. Is that balloon going to be fucking more or less stretched either way? In fact, it might even stay more stretched if you fucking have the weight on that tension from being a fat ass longer. Fuck, people are idiots. Fat weight, fast weight loss doesn't cause any more loose skin than slow weight loss, you fucking morons. Fuck. And that's what dry fasting is for once you fucking get off of this, once you lose all the fucking weight. Tighten up the skin as much as humanly possible. HP asks, Cole, I know you can't give an exact answer, but how much body fat do you think a sedentary male would lose per day? Snake juice fasting, 34 years old, 5'9", 185 pounds, good amount of muscle. About a pound a day, maybe a pound and a half. Depending if you're trying to get in a little bit of exercise on the day or whatever you're doing for, for activity. There's one guy I'm helping right now, and I, if he's fucking as tough as I think he might be, I want to try to cut 100 pounds off of him in two months. Basically, we're not going to eat for two fucking months, but he's big, and he's got a lot of muscle, and I fucking want to get him down from like one, like 280 down to 180 in two months, which would be insane. Even if we fucking lost 80, it would be fucking sick. Um... I have not, John says, I've not trained in a few years. I used to have decent muscles. Muscle memory, true. You do regain it pretty quick, but like you got to just get at the exercise. And like, obviously, when you're a natural, 
and you've built up a really good base, it takes a long time to lose the muscle. Okay? Good, like, base? Fuck, man. They could fucking hit their muscle. <laughs> nice picture. This thing lock up on me or what? Fuck. Fuck, this thing froze up. God damn it. Fuck, somebody screenshot that picture of my eyes rolling and send it to me. <laughs> That's exactly what I fucking looked like talking to the fucking idiot doctors. Okay, let's see here. Alec Torres dad says, I bang sixes and sevens, but I want to bang tens. Will a month of dry fasting make me beautiful again? It'll help. It might jack you up to 7.5s for a month. Six months will bump you up to 10s. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> and also maybe just fucking stop fucking having sex with people that you know is just just uh, some sort of a quick release. You know, you want to fucking find people you actually have interest in. And the only way you're going to do that is work on yourself. So you, and then people will come into your life that have the same commonalities rather than chasing people at the fucking bar or online dating. Go fucking chase your fucking passions. If you like to fucking walk your dog, go walk your dog because sure as shit, you'll meet some guy or some girl walking their fucking dog. That's how it works, okay? You chase your fucking passion. You meet people you actually have shit in common with and you actually have solid relationships. Not just sexual bullshit fucking... That's just a waste of time. Okay, here we go. Life's good ass. Cole, best training for women. Pull-ups and squats. How much daily? How about abs? Fuck, do some crunches too. Just fucking do squats and pull-ups. If you can't do a pull-up, use the fucking pull-up machine. Log as many pull-ups and squats as you can in the week with fucking some sort of a weight that feels like it's a, that feels like every rep is a little bit of work. Not something so light that it's a joke. Even ass to the grass body squats. Okay, even ass to the grass body squats. Fucking just do them all day. Like do 20 every fucking do them at work. You know when you're talking to your boss at work, right? Fucking when you're talking to the fucker. Fucking start doing body squats. He'll be like, what the fuck are you doing? You'll be like, oh, I'm just doing what the snake diet wizard told me to do to build a fucking sweet hot ass. Okay, just fucking keep fucking squatting. Always, always squat. That's what we're meant to do is squat to take a shit, not sit on the toilet. Okay. Uh... Tattooed Vegan says, I've been single for eight years. It must be because I'm vegan. Probably. And not because there isn't a lot of other vegans out there. It's just that fucking vegans are assholes. <laughs> That's pretty much probably why. <laughs> uh, fuck. The vegans that fucking don't eat the meat because of the fucking animal death aspect are the fucking ones that annoy me. The one I've had vegan people, buddies that have done it just because they got sold on that it was actually healthy, but it wasn't any healthier than anything else. But it's the ones that are fucking trying to make people that eat meat look like they're just fucking terrorists. Those are the ones that piss me the fuck off. C Smile M A T asks, twenty five bucks they donated. Cool, thanks for everything, I'm in. I have a torn meniscus in my left knee. Need to cut 60 pounds. Also stop taking my hormone replacement therapy at 60 years old. Hoping it comes back. Yeah, you think? Love my hubby. So yeah, lose the weight. Hopefully that knee heals up. And like I say, that backwards walking, try it out. Because fuck me. 
Both of them, one of my knees was fucked up for three years and now it's, there's like nothing there now. It's like backwards walking with something that we would have did when we were still cavemen. Like pulling shit up a hill backwards is natural, but we never do it anymore. We only fucking go forwards all the time. Backwards. Create now, sleep later. Okay, your fucking name is bullshit. Sleep now. Okay? Because sleep is the most important thing you can fucking do in your life. Fuck. You can't have any creativity when you're fucking tired now, can ya? So create now, sleep later, says Cole. I'm five foot five, 136 pounds, 17.5% body fat. Thinking of doing six days a week of five hour feeding window and one 24 and 48 snake fast on weight training days. Thoughts. Well, you don't need to have a five-hour fucking eating window. You need like a five-minute eating window. Why the fuck would you need five hours? Tonight, I ate 4,000 calories in one hour. So why the fuck would you need five? Here's the thing. The longer your eating window, you know how much fucking fat you're burning in one hour extra of fasting time? I got to make a YouTube about this. You got 24 hours in the day, right? So let's say that you burn a pound and a half or a pound a day. All of a sudden, you're fucking got a whole four hours of ketosis. Like, that's a lot of fucking fat you're going to roast. Fuck, your five-hour window's bullshit. <clears throat> so fucking do a meal a day and then do a 48 on all the off days. Fucking don't eat anything. Five-hour fucking eating window. Fuck. Uh... <clears throat> If you can't do a pull up, then fucking do fucking use the machine, the assisted machine. Okay, or do some sort of rowing exercise or overhead pull downs with a V bar on a cable machine, something like that. Peter Falk asked me, What part of the dandelion do I eat, raw or cooked? Fuck, I used to fucking pick them right out of my buddy's backyard. Then I'd basically steam them and eat the whole thing. Hey, Cole, I'm 6'2", 170 pounds, lift daily, pretty hard. Oh, mad, eats a meal a day, want to lose the last few pounds to show lower abs. Any suggestions? Put on more muscle. That's what you need to do. You're 176, too. You need more fucking muscle. You're too small. You need a bigger, thicker core so the abs actually show. You don't need to worry about losing more fucking weight. Pump iron properly and put on some fucking muscle. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see here. Antonio Affender asked, Cole, I have bad kidneys. My doctor said to lower my potassium. Can I still take snake juice? My doctor also said baking soda is good for my kidneys. Baking soda is good. Okay? The amount, of potassium or drink, the amount of potassium we're drinking in the snake juice isn't bad. There's not enough there. That's a regular daily intake. Okay? Like, if they put you on an IV in the hospital and you needed potassium, they'd be giving you more than this. Just keep knocking back the baking soda. And fucking fast. And knock back lemon juice, too. Uh, let's see here. Okay, here's a good question. Copper Valentine asks, how much salt should I take out of my snake juice? I'm adding one teaspoon of baking soda. Fucking do the math. Okay, you got what? In one teaspoon of salt, you got about 2,000 2, milligrams of sodium. One teaspoon of baking soda, where you got about 1,000. So there you go. Figure it out. It's fucking grade two math. People got to fucking start doing shit for themselves. Thomas Dudquist says, Okay, for start, if caffeine doesn't affect my sleep, can I still have coffee enemas for detoxing? Why? No, man. Junk. And it does affect your sleep. You just don't know it because you're fucking so used to it that your REM sleep is not as good. You know how you know the coffee's shit? Quit drinking it. See what happens. If you have withdrawals, you know it's shit. 
If you don't have withdrawals, then obviously that isn't going to happen. You'll have withdrawals. That's how you know your body doesn't fucking need it. It's addictive. It's just an addiction. You don't need to do coffee enemas either. Like, all these people doing coffee en enemas, you ever notice it's like most of the time a lot of keto people because they're always plugged up. You think a caveman did coffee enemas? Fuck. No healthy person needs to do enemas. Okay, no person that's been leading a fasting-focused lifestyle that's lean and truly healthy needs to do fucking enemas. Unless they're plugged up from fucking eating too much fucking meat and fucking cheese. Here's a fucking... The sweet chemist says, I'm vegan for two weeks, my asthma's gone. Yay! If you fucking would have fasted for one week, your fucking asthma would have been gone too. See, I just want to say that one out loud because people, they jump on a different fucking eating lifestyle and they think it's the best thing known to man because it's better than the fucking bullshit they were doing before. But it's not the best. The best thing you can do is fucking fast, get ripped, and then dial in your macros according to how you feel. A fucking vegan diet's a goddamn joke. I've went through this a million times, okay? Fuck, man. We need cholesterol. We need fucking cholesterol. We need all nine essential amino acids from fucking meat. Uh, yeah, as Armored Saint asks, is it a bad idea to do daily body weight exercise during an extended dry fast? No, like, do what you think you can do. Okay, your fucking body's going to tell you. If you're sitting there fucking ready to keel over and die, you're like, well, maybe I shouldn't do push-ups right now. Like, just use common sense for fuck's sakes. I'm not there to fucking hold your hand. I don't hate vegans. I just hate ignorant fucking vegans that fucking think that, that basically ridicule people for eating meat. Saying that it'll clog your fucking arteries. Yet if you go get a fucking actual, uh, what do you call it? Fuck. Um, you can go your, get your carotid artery tested for plaque buildup eating fucking strict fucking low carb and your fucking arteries will be perfect. Okay, uh, fuck, uh, fuck, what's the, uh, set, uh, shit, I forget what it's called now. And that's the part I hate about it, and they're just like, oh, you're, you're gonna die a heart, a fucking heart disease and fucking heart attack and shit. Shut the fuck up, that's fucking, that's the part that bugs the fuck out of me. Most vegans are fucking idiots. The ones that fucking quit eating meat because of the fucking animal, because they can't straight up fucking admit that they just don't want to kill animals, so instead they got to say that eating meat is bad for you, which is a bunch of bullshit. Let's see here. Um... Trey Brower says zero carb glyconeogenesis adapted. Yeah, so fucking what? So you're not getting any glycogen in your muscles worth of shit. You know how I know? Because you look flat as fuck compared to if you ate a bunch of rice. I know this because I've done zero carb for fucking weeks. And my fucking training regimen was shit compared to how I feel now eating carbs. And you got to remember, if you're fucking amping up your fucking exercise like I do... You're in ketosis within like fucking eight hours of eating fucking a pile of carbs once you're ripped. Fat people don't need to fucking eat. So close your ears when I'm even talking about food at all. Because one of my buddies, he said, oh, this girl that he was coaching, like, Cole said we could eat carbs. No, you fucking fat ass. Can't eat fucking carbs. Can't eat anything until you're lean. The way the body's supposed to work is you're supposed to swing in and out of ketosis all your life. Okay, you eat, you kick yourself out. You fast, you're back in. You eat, you kick yourself out. You fast, you're back in. When you're a fat ass, you fast, okay, you're back in. When you eat, you do eat low carb, 
and you don't kick yourself out. You eat a meal the size of a fucking loony, and then you keep fasting. That's what fat asses do. Fat asses should never be kicking themselves out of ketosis or they fucked up. Okay, let's see here. Like all these exercise routines people are fucking hitting me up with, fucking try shit. If they're not making gains, change it. Okay, lift fucking heavier weights. Perfect form. Simple. Full body. All the time. Okay, don't do fucking stupid splits. Useless. Full fucking body. Don't beat the shit out of your muscles fucking once one time a week. Work the muscle group lots in the week. Okay, figure out a fasting routine that works with your fucking work schedule and your training routine. Fucking try shit. If you want fucking coaching from me, hit me up on fucking Cole Robinson Facebook Messenger. And I'll make you do my tasks and then I'll fucking help you. Um... Let's see here. Oh, here's one. David Lowe says, Why dry fast when snake juice makes it simpler? Because the only time people can dry fast, some people actually make them less hungry. But like you say, some people it actually is, most people it's harder. When you're fucking really lean already and you're trying to kill some sort of aggressive health ailment, dry fasting is good for those things. Okay, there's a lot of reasons you dry fast. The autophagy effect is the most aggressive when you dry fast for scrubbing out fucking things like herpes, cancer, you name it, okay? All that shit, dry fasting. But if your goal is to just lose weight as fast as you can and fast as long as you can and keeping it as easy as possible, fucking snake juice. Okay, that's how I came up with this because I wanted to fast as long as I could without and still exercising. Okay? So that's it. And like I said, meds and shit interrupt autophagy. So you're not dry fasting unless your mouth is fucking nailed shut. So I'm going to wrap this up. I'm still fucking frozen, sadly. But go to my Snake Diet Facebook page. Give me a five-star review, okay? Like the page. Check out the testimonials. Go to my personal snake diet, my personal, sorry, my personal Facebook page, Cole Robinson. Scroll down and share Samantha's 200-pound fat loss transformation. Share that shit. I want people to fucking see it. Okay, that's crazy. She has 200 pounds in one fucking calendar year with no exercise. And she's 37 years old, I believe. So just scroll down a few posts on my Cole Robinson Facebook page, okay? Then go to Instagram. Check out all my shit on Instagram, okay? My Instagram is actually starting to drum up some people. I don't follow anybody either, okay? And then make sure you add yourself to my snake diet motivation group. Motivation group. None of the other snake diet groups, okay? The other snake diet groups are full of a bunch of fucking pussies who don't want to post pictures on my motivational group. And they just talk about fucking food and they're a bunch of fat fucking pigs from what I hear. Okay, my group gets fucking results. So get on the group. Check it out. Okay? Watch my fucking YouTubes. Spend time. It's all there. It's all there. Learn this. Experiment. Don't be a fucking pussy. Don't worry so much. Just fucking do it and shut the fuck up. And until next time, get that fat in ya!